What's going on guys, Inferno here, and welcome to a special kind of video for you guys. As of recording, it's March 12th, and tomorrow is going to be my 21st birthday. So for today, I figured I'd do something a little bit different, a reaction video to one of my older videos. But this has a little bit of relevance because should Heatseeker replace Competitive Snow Day, is talking about this whole new rank system where we're swapping out Snow Day and Drop Shot. As you guys are aware, Snow Day is not in ranked right now, so I technically predicted this over two years ago. <laughs> we'll call it a technicality, but for the sake of a title and thumbnail, I predicted this two and a half years ago. So we are going to be reacting to this together. Hope you guys do enjoy this. This probably will get more views than the original did because I made this back when I was looking for 400 subs. So I'm not sure how well this is going to do. So typically on Wednesday, new bundles come out. So probably make a bundle view and whatever it comes out. I am Shop and Rocket League double bundle day. So if you guys don't care about this, then at least like I've had one. But if you guys are going to stick around and make sure you do leave a like on this if you enjoy. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I was wanting to hit 1700 before on birthday and 13. So we hit it. And by the way, the support on that recent video, if this is getting out of control as well as all of these the past few several days. Yeah, that video is specific. If this is getting out of control, the support on that one, 2,000 views in just under a week. I haven't gotten numbers I've gotten in a long time. And most of my new subs came from a video. So thank you to everybody who did subscribe and like that video. Like I said, haven't had one do that good in a long time. So yeah, with all that out of the way, let's get into this reaction. I have no clue. It's a five minute video. I have no clue how good or bad it's going to be. This might not even be a video, but. Yo, what's up guys? Inferno here. And today's video. Okay. So first off, let's move the webcam over here. As you can see, the setup has gotten a lot better. <laughs> I will say that much. So it's like weird me looking this way when the actual content is that way. But yeah, as you can see here, this setup. <laughs> I mean, this is kind of rough. So I got the same chair, but old webcam, old quality. And I was rocking the neck beard back then. Nice. This was back during around roughly COVID. And back then, I was too lazy to shave. So I was like, you know what? The mask kind of covers it well. We have to wear it all the time. So I just kind of left it and I... I should never have done that. That it looks terrible. But it's I, I can't grow a beard to save my life anyway. Want to talk about Snow Day and whether it should stay in competitive or not. It Essentially should stay replacing in Snow Day with Heat Seeker, which I honestly think might be well, overall po loud. more overall po more popular pick than Snow Day. Because honestly, as far as I know, Snow Day is yeah, the least Heat popular Seeker. mode and Heat Seeker is one of the most popular modes. But Heat So the premise of this video the, uh, wasn't necessarily specifically about Snow Day being removed. It's just more so rather <laughs> More so rapper that that should heat seeker replace it. Granted, it's not exactly what we're going for right now. They just they didn't even replace it anyway, just strip took it out. But it is what it is. Uh, playlists up over like two, three, four times a year. And snow days yeah. here. One thing I will say that did better is like I said in there, you get you get heat seeker by two, three, four times a year. It's one of the most popular modes. I do love one of the best things Epic Games have done in the past four years is what they did recently with their uh, little weekly playlist changes. I really do like the fact that mix things up every week. But anyway, I figured I'd just talk about why I play some Snow Day a little bit here. So if you guys enjoy this type of video, it's more no one just enjoys like this type of video. About what Rocket League could do to change. <laughs> as well as then again, why am I reacting Not to it if no one enjoys this type of video? Cars <laughs> bundle, you, so. If you guys enjoy this, type that's yeah, that's why I started making stuff like this. Not everything has to be underrated. Cars bundle views. I still feel the way. But frankly, I have more ideas now that I did back then. Type of discussion so. video, drop a like, and if you have any opinions about this, just let me know in the comments. And we're only four subscribers off of 400. I got some <laughs> special announcements coming up at 400. I'll post to the channel. Uh, and did I actually do any of your 500? Part of that first 400, and yeah, I don't sure. even remember if I did any of your 500. Did I score it? Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Should I haven't watched this in a long time, by the way. I've asked myself this a longer than you might actually think. Because, like <laughs> I said in the intro, Heat Seeker is way more popular than Snow Day. And I know it's a community yeah. Snow Day. I yeah, know. that's another thing too. I never really think of people actually play Snow Day, but when I went to Rocket Twitter season 14 came out, I saw a good amount of people saying, uh, where's Snow Day? And it had a good amount of likes. I'm just surprised that people actually play Snow Day as much as I personally play like hoops. If we're talking extra modes only, for example. Drop Shot makes a lot more sense than Snow Day. I'm kind of surprised that it's like that. Understand, but. it's been around for years. It's been around way longer than Heat Seeker has. It only makes yeah. sense. But think about it for a second. If you put Heat Seeker in a competitive setting, that would just be kind of awesome. Actually. That still would be awesome. And Epic, if you guys are watching this, you guys aren't watching this. But someone send us to Epic. Cool. Oh, here, put this down. Someone send us to Epic real quick. You guys should make Heat Seeker competitive rotation. I'm just being totally honest. Imagine how insanely good that'd be. Just, just think about it. Think about it. Like, Get back it to me. Have to just come out. Like, <laughs> Give a compensation for an idea. Or something. <laughs> like it's already gone. It just came out like a week and a half ago. It's already gone. So mm -hmm. no, I wouldn't say replace Snow Day for any other mode. Like How was that? Uh, oh, I love teaming. I wouldn't replace Snow Stupid Day teaming. with uh, Spike Rush or Gridiron. Cause I don't think those modes are nearly as good. Oh my God, Gridiron. Oh yeah, the football mode. 
I was trying to remember what Gridiron was for a second. Yeah, the NFL. Football I'm not saying you're not as good as Snow Dame. I was saying yeah, Gridiron's not that great. It didn't, don't catch on. Spike Rush. I could definitely see Spike Rush being a competitive mode, but that season, would probably just, just not, not that's not do good well. business strategy. First off, and it's also just not. <laughs> what really I say about business, I talk about myself. Popular, it didn't don't catch on. Those are the seasonal modes that I would like. A Heat Seeker being a seasonal mode is just not. That's not good business strategy. First off, epic. You taking notes here? You guys love money so much. I see what you put in the time shop. Take notes on this guy right here whose pixels I can literally count. That's how bad his quality was back then. But but it's also just not really I don't know how he even got four like subscribers with this guy. Kind of so what the ultimate solution would be just add a fifth mode. And I think I think adding a fifth mode actually would be better. And that fifth mode would be Heat Seeker. And I just kind of beamed that. My bad. Yeah. But I, yeah, just, you I, can, I guarantee you Snow Day's the least play mode. I think Drop Shot's played a lot more. And even oh, if yeah. not, Drop Shot's still... I still think that Snow Day's the least play mode. It, like, I know now that there's actually community, but Rumble, Heat Seeker, oh, not Heat Seeker, not yet. Rumble, Drop Shot, Hoops, and Snow Day. Out of those four, which one do you think, seriously, seriously, which one do you think has the lowest amount? It's gotta be Snow Day, because there's just, <laughs> it's just hockey, basically. And unless you're Canadian, I don't see you playing it more than, like, what two matches a week <laughs> well just more of a unique mode for the most the part obviously everything you gotta do to get a goal snow day is basically just soccer but with a weird puck that's inconsistent this mode hasn't received it, yeah. support since it originally came out that's for another example, thing too the, I, puck, the physics of a puck I, like the fact that you can pinch on the ground the fact that you can pinch the puck on the ground and get 200 kilometers i think that <laughs> should have been patched out by now and also the fact that half of a puck no I disagree with myself. It, it kind of makes sense if it was like a bug, but now this, that's just a staple of the game. Like flip resets were a bug. You weren't supposed to be able to get a, a flip off of the ball back then. This is some history for you guys. If it was like any other bug, it would have been removed because that wasn't supposed to be how it is. But people love it so much, and yeah, it's. Could you imagine this game without flip resets? That's. <laughs> I'm sure like the low ranks can. <laughs> no offense, but. That was a joke. Oh, yeah. for a quarter of a puck. The inc inconsistency is basically. Yeah. You know, some red eclipse of it literally hanging to the ceiling for a whole minute. Oh my something. god, I forgot about it's this. It's not eclipse. received that much uh, support in the. Uh, I still think it hasn't received any support. Or nearly as much as the other modes. So if you are going to keep Snow What's Day. What's the last time we got a new mode? Brought it up. If you are going to keep Snow or Day in map, here, you map. should keep Snow Day and update it more. You should make it maybe change. Yeah, this should show up. more love to the extras. At... Nice. One thing you could do is you could yeah. put, keep Snow Day. That's a lot easier for puck than like you like fix it like see look not the whole puck wasn't in there tough let's go <laughs> so you could keep snow day but patch it or you can remove snow day and put heat seeker in the ultimate solution would be to add a heat seeker keep snow day, i still kind of think that yeah just polish out i don't think snow we're ever gonna polish snow and day. yeah you added one map i don't think we're gonna do two years you also have yeah actually changed the physics one or... map in two years to my knowledge from the time recording it's like 2022 i don't think we've ever added a map since this point either so it's probably been since epic took over that there's been a new map for snow day the uh Kind of style crazy. of a mode even rumble even if rumble has gotten patched in years it's still got a bunch of nerfs as power-ups and stuff so it, the fun yeah they did do patch jumps for back in like 18 19 so what okay now watch this right i want to clarify wait what do you want to clarify it was you guys didn't see this yeah okay, okay. <laughs> just let this chat play for a little bit yeah i don't even know i don't i don't even know what's going on here i don't know either i what? don't know what that chat interaction was but yeah, yeah that's another thing too i feel like more often than not when i load into snow day you get a lot of chatters it's also because you get a lot of lower ranks roughly lower rank but i feel like it happens a lot more often it might not anymore as but... i know this video is gonna be a pretty short one and honestly i felt like there's a lot more to talk about when i <laughs> hit the record but you don't know how many times that still happens today <laughs> know how many ideas I've scrapped for the past like several months or so but I'm like e oh there's not much to talk about <laughs> that's funny that's funny I'm I'm, I'm a funny guy but regardless oh. here we are um so the either fixed snow <laughs> what the fuck was that dude? if I mess up that bad I just do a retake all together so they polish it patch it change something about snow day while keeping the fundamentals there or just get rid of snow day all together it I don't, I don't think you should get rid of Snow Day altogether, though. I think, see, to my knowledge, I'm pretty sure this was around the time where extra modes got their ranked mode. So this might have been like a month after they moved from casual to ranked. So that's why I was, might have been saying remove Snow Day altogether. I don't think you should move Snow Day altogether because the more options, the better. Though I do understand that you're thinning out your player base and it's going to be hard to find matches. I get all that side of stuff, but just, I don't think you should get rid of Snow Day. But I think this should be a competitive heat secret still. I'm kind of like a middle of the road. 
in comparison to some competitive to... scene. Because honestly, you could go back to doing casual to myself. extra modes, and then you can have like six, seven casual. Yeah, extra see. Modes. You might not want to split your play base up that much. I actually realized. See, that, but... but yeah, I'm so patch, smart. No, they fix it, change something. This guy gets it. Keeping the core fundamentals, or just remove it all together from competitive and put heat seeker in. Because I honestly think heat seeker should be a competitive mode. The only reason I even yes. suggest getting rid of snow day is because if you're keeping the four mode pattern, that would be the yeah. least likely mode to uh, keep. Because Hoops is super good. Rumble is like the best, especially for lower players. Lower players <laughs> love Rumble a lot more than higher players, but Rumble is still a big part I don't of know about that one, community but... community surrounded by Hoops, and I understand that because Hoops is fun. It's its own mode. Yeah, with, uh, Hoops, I, yeah, physics, Hoops is fun. Different map style. Drop Shot is unique, and it has a player base, but it's not as big as Hoops and Rumble. But in Snow Day, it's just soccer, but with... I could kind of say that Drop Shot and Hoops kind of have about the same level of community at this point. I don't know. Puck. But the puck is weird, and it's not really that fun. I can guarantee at least half of people watching this Great put adjective. Snow Day in at least a third or fourth. No one made it past this point. I'm just going to point it out. Right now. I doubt that more than half of you will say that Snow Day is ever a favorite or second favorite mode in the extra playlist. Just just saying. I'm yeah. I'm generous at 50%, but... I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's all. Like, like, seriously, think about it. If you w think about all the modes you like, like all those extra modes, what are your top two? Mine, personally, Rumble and Hoop. Some people put Drop Shot there, but seriously, if you say Snow Day, is your favorite or your second favorite it's gonna be hard to believe you but i guess i can but it's not gonna be most people i want to bring up a discussion <laughs> if, if you guys have any opinions of your own just let me know in the comments oh hey let's see if anybody has any opinions oh actually people did okay never mind <laughs> i was expecting zero comments let's see what these guys have to say by the way shout out to you guys if you guys are still watching especially if you've been around the past couple years these guys specifically no face and watchy walkie i that. These guys have been in the live streams and stuff for the past two years. I haven't seen them in a while, but they have been very consistent back then. So, should replace it, but should be added. That's about what I'm going for. And I would love Heat Seeker 1v1 and 2v2. That. I don't know about 1v1. 1v1 is not interesting to us for sure. Lol. But maybe a 2v2 or 3v3 would be nice. Um, I'd still say 3v3 if I had to pick on one of the other. Uh, to be honest, I think it will leave Snow Day. I don't like it. I just like the title Wizard Blizzard. That's why. Oh, yeah, but yeah, GC. Plus. That's why I grind. I never realize you're GC plus. Um, only for the title, but Heat Seeker person is way better. Both should stay, though. And everything should think about is it is directly coming out. Who knows? We had so much hope. <laughs> so if we just put an effort in that instead of this outdated engine version of the game. We had so much optimism back then. Now we're just... We're... I don't know. Titles are for creative. Lol. Yeah, I did a lot of stupid emojis and LOLs back then. <laughs> and yeah, I do agree with both would be nice. I had to pick one other good with WHC. Yep. Yeah. From the Rock League 2, but I was heard for a long time. It's been a hot mid a sword news. Rock League 2, I kind of hope that doesn't happen. I just keep improving expanding Rock... Wait, what? I kind of hope that that does not happen. And I just keep improving expanding Rock League 1. Um... the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, interesting take, I guess. Old me. Maybe at this point, Rocket League actually was very popular. Epic Games hadn't durried up that much at that point, so maybe that's what's going on in my head. But yeah, no. Rocket League 2, make a whole new game, please. Snow Day is around 9... See this guy. Snow Day is around 9,000 times better than Heat Seeker. It'll be a sad day if they replace it with Demo Frenzy all the way. Okay, man. This has got to be one of the outliers. And if by some chance you're here still, I don't recognize the name. So maybe this is a one-off time. If you're still in here, let me know in the comments if you still feel this way. But anyway, 9,000 times better? I don't believe you. When you put it like that, yeah, I kind of had to just... I was neutral. Something I always did and still do is reply to each and every single comment. One of the best things about being a smaller YouTuber is that I can actually put individual time into the people who comment. You get to a certain point, you get like thousands of comments a video, you just simply can't respond to each and every single one of them. If you only get a few, I can actually take time, put in an effort response, and have a conversation with you guys in the comments. Or in a Discord server, which I don't even think I promoted at the time, but yeah, no, I did not. Uh, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's where I stopped yapping. So yeah, I'm going to stop yapping now, and I'm going to end this here. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, found it entertaining, consider dropping a like, subscribing. If you want some more reaction content in the future, then by all means, let me know. I'll start doing some more stuff. It doesn't have to be my content. It could be like, I've attempted to react to Rocket League FX in the past, so maybe I can actually react and post it. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. But yeah, this one going to end us here. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.